You feel good. Everything else, those four games are behind you. Now in this series is not a seven-game series or six-game or nothing like that. You know what it turns into? A three-game. It's a three-game series now. That's what it is. And, and so the, and from a mentality standpoint, if you are coaching the Celtics, what you're telling them, Max, is a three-game series. Right now, we have to figure out how to get this next game so we can bring it back home because we're down one, even though even though we're up one. We're down one. That's the way you have to think about it. Yeah, look, it's, it is it's 3-2. You know, as I said, after it was uh, 0-3, oh, no one's ever come back from that. Then it was 3-1, and people keep harping on no one's ever come back from down 0-3. Oh, it's not 0-3, oh, it's 3-1, and teams have come back from that. And now it's 3-2, and plenty of teams have come back from that, including the Boston Celtics in the previous series, down 3-2 against Philly. And it well, was see, I, Jason I, I, Tatum who went bananas. I wouldn't sell it like that, though, Max. I don't even want to talk about the other games. I'm selling... It's a three-game series. Mm-hmm. We are down 0-1. Oh, you're talking about in the heat lock in the in the in the Celtics locker room. In the Celtics, in the Celtics locker, locker room, room. That's yeah. the way I'm selling it. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, it's, it's three games. We're down. We lost 0-1. the first game. Yeah. We lost the first game, even though we won the first game. Yeah, yeah. We, we lost, lost the first game. The first game. It's a great way of looking at it. We got to go on the road. If we lose. It's over with. If we win, we come back home and win the championship. You're right, because plenty of teams, best of, you know, if you have a best of three situation, there have been plenty yeah. of teams have won two out of three. Yes. Yeah. Three out of five, two out of three, but that's like a normal. No, I don't want you to think long. Yeah. I don't want you to think long. I want you to think short, little small. Yeah, you go going for a series in baseball. You play a three-game set. You lose game one. It doesn't mean you're going to lose the series. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's a so really you good try way to, to look at you it. You try to. Uh, play with the mind tricks for to a degree, right? That's what you do. You look at it from that standpoint. Or you can flip it and say, oh, we're going on the road. We beat them on the road already the last time we were there. It's one game, guys. Let's just go do it. Speaking of home and road, three teams have forced the game seven after trailing 0-3. Okay, NBA history. Trailblazers, Mavericks, the first round in 03. In 94, the conference semis, uh, Nuggets, Jazz. And then you go back to 1951, which stop it already. You know, different rules, different everything. Knicks, Royals, okay? Knicks lose to the Royals. You know that's from a bygone era. <laughs> They're playing. The Knicks lose to the, to the Royals? Royals? Yeah. It's like, uh, what was that move? Basketball, right? Like from Who, the what, South what, Park what guys? The Knicks? Huh? What was the name of the Knicks? I mean, what Knicks. city? Yeah, versus the Royals. Oh, All- Kansas. Wait, is it basketball or baseball? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. That same year, the Lakers lost to the Brewers. No, tell, tell, oh. wait, wait, Max, is it baseball or it's basketball? It's basketball. So there was a, it's Kansas City Royals. Mm-hmm. No, wait, was it, where I was the look, Royals I don't, at, I don't man? I remember. You've given up. me teams from like 1905. I don't, the, the Royal, where the hell were the Royals in Cincinnati. basketball? Oh, the Cincinnati Royals. Yeah. So that was like what the Negro League in basketball, or something. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it does have that kind of flavor the to Rochester, it, doesn't it? Right? The Rochester Royals is what it was. Wait a minute. Yeah, was it the it Rochester was the Royals. Rochester it was the Rochester Royals. Rochester Royals. Yep. Rochester Royals. Oh, you're right. The Cincinnati Royals were after. I guess. I guess Cincinnati got a Royals franchise after you're that. You're bringing up stuff from like. The Rochester Royals were from 45 to 57. The Cincinnati Royals from 57 to 72. See, uh, Max, come on, man. That's what I'm saying. So let's even throw that one out. Stop it, everybody. <laughs> but, but the point is, all three of those teams that forced the game seven, this is no one's ever won down 0-3. They forced game sevens, but they had to play it on the road. No team has gotten to host a game seven that's been down 0-3, which tells you that teams that fall down 0-3 are the lower-seeded teams, not the higher-seeded teams. Now you got the higher seeded team fell down 0-3, the way higher seeded team, and they, if they can win Game Six, host a Game Seven, never's been done before. And that's the beauty of it, right? You you go back to Boston, you win. Now you go to Miami tomorrow night, you steal that one, and you're at home in a jacked up crowd, mm-hmm. fired up. The Miami Heat can't. Uh, 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 shoot a BB out, they so tight. At the end of the day, you now take care of business. It, it's the moment of truth for Butler, Brown, Tatum. It's the moment of truth in a game seven in Boston. It's a moment of truth in game six now for Tatum 
in Butler and Brown. But if they go to Game 7, if for whatever reason it becomes a Game 7, you might as well start to promote Nuggets versus Celtics, in my opinion. Man, <laughs> that would – now, what – Here's the thing. It was almost too easy for Jimmy Butler, and he didn't have a big game last night. And I think Gabe Vincent not being there, they really, he's the only one that can do anything Jimmy Butler with the ball in his hands when Gabe Vincent's not there. I mean, apologies to Kyle Lowry at this point in his career, but they really, you know, you have guys like... uh, Kyle Lowry look like a little chunky monster. (laughs) Right, you got guys like Duncan Robinson trying, you know, trying trying to fake you know, ball fake and do what he can, but it's what it is, right? He can shoot, and but the limited in terms of being able to put the ball on the floor and create. Yeah, he's a catch-and-shoot guy. He's a catch-and-shoot guy. And so and so, without Gabe Vincent, and we got to really see his health for game six, it really changes things for the I Heat. Thought, I was I worried thought, about that I for them. I thought Tyler Hero was supposed to come back. Tyler Hero, right, yeah, but not yet. We got ourselves a series here because for the first time, I kind of feel like the Heat don't think they've got it totally under control. You know, Eric Spolstra got the team together after the game in the locker room and said, hey, let this sting for a while, marinate in it a little bit. That's not a message he's had to give in a while. And really what's been a big difference here is the energy level. The Heat were not able to match the Celtics' energy level. Again, that's not something we've seen and been able to say before in this series. And while we can look at the three-point shoot, and we know that's important, and that obviously is a huge key for the Celtics. I want you to look at the Heat scores the last two games, both times under 100. They put up 128 on the Celtics in game three. That, they, they, the Heat were moving with ease and everything. The difference in these last two games, the, diff, the, the, the level of effort defensively from Boston, and they have really focused on Bam Adebayo. He has averaged only 13 points over the last three games. That's where the Heat are going to have to make an adjustment. See, I I can't look at it the same way a lot of people do in in these situations when you're talking about basketball. I have to kind of compare it to football because I've never been in a seven-game, a five-game series, right, Max? I've been in quarters. Right. And so what happens to the Boston Celtics out the gate when they go down 3-0 is that you you tend to underestimate your opponent to a degree, right? You say to yourself, Okay, we're gonna walk out here. We playing the Miami Heat, and we we they are overmatched for us. Oh wow, hmm, interesting. We lose game one. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're fine. We don't worry about. It. We're at home. We'll get. We'll even the score. Damn, we lose game two. Oh man. Oh man, we tripping. Then you go to game three, and you say, oh, "We got this with Miami." Oh my God, they just got us again. We sleepwalking. Now you get to game four, you say, look, man, it's either do or die for us right now. Now you hit. Boom. And it's like in football, you walk out there in the first quarter, you get punched by the opponent. You're like, damn, they better than what we thought. The second quarter, you're still trying to recover from the first quarter. Bam, they hit you. The third quarter, halftime, you make the adjustments. In the third quarter, halfway through it, you wake up. Now you explode in the fourth quarter, you win the game. That's kind of how the Celtics are treating the Heat right now. They slept walk for a period of time. Now they woke. Now they are, they are woke in game five, and now they go back in game six with all the confidence in the world where the Miami Heat could potentially be shook because they never faced this at the beginning. Yep. That was like a I, max explainer. I, I mean, I, I agree. The Celtics' defense is different. But again, when you don't have Tyler Hero or Victor Oladipo and then a guy like Gabe Vincent steps up and then he's gone, you only have one guy who can create on your team. And Bam did not really have touch last night. Everything was a little too strong and it was off. Butler was looking for him to feed him a little bit. It just wasn't working. As you said, he put, you know, putting the ball on the ground, getting stripped, lazy passes in the backcourt. I mean, in, in the half court, I should say. And, and, you know, not their night. But I don't know if Gabe Vincent doesn't get back, if how that changes. Eric Spolstra was talking about what the mood of the team is after losing two in a row. Who cares about mood? Like, we have a gnarly group. So I, I think so much of that is overrated. Uh, it, it's a competitive series. Uh, you always expect, uh, you know, things to be uh, challenging in, in the conference finals. Uh, and... Uh, you know, one game doesn't lead to the next game. 
Yes, it does. Based on all the experience that we've had, it, it, it doesn't matter in the playoffs. It doesn't matter if you lose by whatever. Um, you know, we beat them by whatever in game three. It, it just doesn't matter. Uh, it's about, um, you know, collectively uh, preparing and, and putting together, you know, a great game. We'll play uh, much better uh, on Saturday. Um, and that's all we just have to focus on right now. Yeah, he's right, though. One game doesn't lead to the next game because those games are behind you. And it's a one-game situation. That's all you think about. You think about the four quarters in which you are playing in. You're not sitting around thinking about the games that you lost or you won. You don't you believe in momentum in series, hockey? Uh, you, you, well, in this case, no, because it's a one-game situation for the momentum has shifted, so to speak, right? Mm-hmm. Miami had the momentum. Now there is no more momentum because Boston is thinking one game at a time. That's their thought process. That's their momentum. You can't say, all oh, the momentum has shifted to the Celtics. It's not that the momentum has shifted to the Celtics. The Celtics happened to get one because that's all they was thinking about. Then they happened to get two because they was only thinking about one. Now they'll possibly get three because they're only thinking about one. I don't look at it as momentum. I, I look at it as one game. I figured the Celtics w- would win that game, but I thought Jimmy Butler would go off looking for teammates, 30-point, triple-double type thing. He had 14 points. It's his fewest in any game this postseason. I'm very surprised by that. And, I, you know, I, I would imagine he will have a big response in Miami. But even he, if he did, though, Max, are they going to counter? Which I, they I, I expect the Celtics to counter. I, like, listen, what I want to know is what's Gabe Vincent's health? Like, what is the status there? Heat fans, you told us you weren't worried after game four. The Celtics are three-point favorites at Miami. They are only slight underdogs to win the series. The Heat are favored to win the series, but barely. Plus that minus 140 for the Heat, plus 118 for the Celtics. You told us you weren't worried after Game Four, Heat fans. How about now? None. Um, man, I woke up this morning and I had Matt Ryan on my mind. And uh, as much as I love Jimmy Butler, I feel like a Miami Heat, Atlanta Falcon meltdown in the Super Bowl. Just want to know what you guys think. Um. Yeah, but that, that belt down the Super Bowl wasn't on Matt Ryan. I think it was more on Kyle Shanahan and that defense. It wasn't on Matt Ryan. But there is there is the thought that at a certain point, if if the OC is calling plays in kind of a prevent offense, right, that the, the quarterback may want to take things into his own hands sometimes, Key. I've heard that, that he could have been more assertive, maybe, Matt Ryan. May, maybe, but sometimes it's not people's personality. Well, we do know Jimmy Butler is assertive, for sure. Bingo. So That's what I'm getting we'll at. we'll see. In game six, if Jimmy Butler, I'm not going to say rise to the occasion because he's always risen to the occasion. I just, let's see if his game changes from game four and five to game six. All of a sudden, he catches fire again. He's at home. It's a whiteout, the whole deal going on. And he's balling like we saw Jimmy Butler do in the past. We got to see what happens with Gabe Vincent too, because I really think his absence was a big deal. You only have one when the other de- when the defense knows they got one dude who can really handle and get his right and set people up, and they key in on him. It's a whole different ball game. So either Kyle Lowry has to come correct, or it's going to be a problem. Right? Exactly. Key Gabe Vincent was that guy for them. Luther I mean, in New York. You're on KJM. Uh, Luther. Good morning, fellas. I got what's going on. What's cracking, Luke? Um, yeah, man, I'm a little worried, man. I ain't going to front. Um, Spo, first of all, Spoke got to get out of that 3-2 defense. That 3-2 defense ain't, ain't working bad. People, uh, rotations late, match truths. Oh, my God. Uh, he got sand in his feet. Um, Kyle Lowry and, and, and Kevin Love. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what happened yesterday, but the, 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 the stat that, uh, that gets me was, the bench scored 53 points, and the starter scored 44 points. That's pitiful. Pitiful. 26 off points off the of turnovers. They let uh, the Celtics have 45 percent from three. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. Spoelstra, you gotta, you gotta get them boys. You gotta get the boys back, back together. Bam and Jimmy. Jimmy only took 10 shots the whole game. Bam had six turnovers. Yeah, it's gonna get a little spooky. 
I think I think the fix is in. I I I ain't gonna say it's, it's rigged, but I'm gonna say the fix is in. How is the fix? How is the fix, right, so the the fix when you turn the, the ball over? Keyshawn, nah, the fix is in, man. The fix is in. How's it, but how? But Luther, say. but Luther, think about what you're saying. The fix I'm is saying. in. So if somebody only takes 14 shots, is the fix is the 14 shot of the 14 shots part of the fix? Is the turnovers part of the fix? Are they saying, hey, turn the ball over? Hey, don't shoot. Is that is that's what's going on? Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's a little. Uh, Eric Spoelstra got a little got a little uh, microphone in, in his ear, and they telling him, you know. Oh like, man, here you go. You're an internet guy. I know what you are. <laughs> you get ready to tell me. You getting ready to tell me flying saucers? They going the convertible flying saucers are coming next week. I hear it. I understand. Nah, nah, nah. No, nah, we just, we just got to play better. That's it, man. I, I'm surprised we played that bad two games in a row. Eric Spoelstra really, really, we we really don't have two. We really didn't have two bad games this. This, uh, this is what I'm so saying. I'm you had one bad. I, I really, I hate to keep bringing up the name Gabe Vincent, but Key, they had a bad game. That yeah. was a winnable game last night. It was a very. I would not say the Celtics really actually outplayed the Heat. But yes, they hustled on defense, the Celtics, but a lot of those turnovers were just sloppy. Right, it's like it, it, yes, the Celtics took advantage, but the Heat, the Heat put themselves in a position to turn the ball over. You said it. Look at the way they're holding the ball. They're dribbling. They're passing. Everything is was same lackadaisical. Did, it's basically the same repeat. They repeat offenders from Game Four. Yeah. So the yeah. Fir- right Game Four, they, it was the, well Game Four. They start turning it over in the third quarter more. And you yeah. brought this up, yeah. and you would think that would be corrected for Game Five, but it picked right up from the beginning of the game. They got to yeah. get, and that's why I'm, I, the reason I say Gabe Vincent is when you have two guys who can shot create, it changes everything, right? Luther. As opposed to just having that one dude. Max Luther said that it's a, it's a fix. <laughs> yeah, it's in the turnovers and in in shot selection is a fix. I, I, I guess Bigfoot will be knocking on his back door here soon, too. Do you realize that the existence of a Bigfoot or of uh, aliens, you said flying saucer, do you realize oh that it's, it's a higher likelihood that we are presently being visited by aliens than the fix was in last night? <laughs> that everyone, Like, really, just if you did the math, you'd say the likelihood that everyone on the heat, the fix was in and they could pull it off like that, that's a that that's a lower likelihood than aliens are here right now. Yeah. C- convertible flying saucers. Are convertible flying. I'm yeah. one of those. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.